Yes, we have one here. Just hold it. brought Diane, right? Shana Tova, everyone. Good morning and welcome to you all. I'm really pleased to see all of you who are here with us, those of you that are joining us online. Uh, just wanted to let the people know who are joining us online that we're not actually going to be uh, sharing the, uh, the, the prayers on screen this morning, just so you can have part of the fuller effect of what's going on here in the sanctuary. We, so if you have a Mapasaur, with you at home, you may want to grab it, and if not, then just let the prayers and the music flow over you and enjoy being in the moment. You know, it's kind of interesting the fact that we're even here today, um, because in many Reformed congregations, they don't do second day Rosh Hashanah, just like we don't, we do seven days of Pesach and seven days of Sukkot. I'm not going to go into all of the Talmudic reasons why. But I remember a number of years ago asking Rabbi Baskin, you know, why does Ansh Sholem do second day Rosh Hashanah when so many congregations don't, reform congregations? And he told me a story. And he said, you know, we didn't used to do it. But one year, a small cohort within the congregation who were a little bit more traditional asked whether they could lead their own second day Rosh Hashanah service. And he said, of course. And they gathered downstairs in the chapel. And in Rabbi Baskin's way of telling the story, he said, and I made a mistake. 
He said, I showed up just to see what they were doing. The next year they asked again, can we do it again? It was really nice. And he said, of course. And then they said, well, since you were there last year, would you be there again this year? And he said, of course. And then they said, well, since you're going to be here anyway, would you lead the service? And he went, oh. <laughs> and ever since then, we've had a second day Rosh Hashanah service, which is actually kind of lovely because, you know, the service this morning is going to be shorter. It's going to be more informal. We don't have any assigned honors this morning except for the reading of the Torah and the Hub Torah. So at different points of the service, I might call out and ask somebody to help and to open the ark, something like that. And if you're willing to do it, just come on up. And if you're not willing to do it, just shake your head and I'll ask somebody else. That's all the rules this morning. So again, welcome everybody. I wish you a happy, sweet, healthy, enriching new year. And we're going to begin our service on page 120, 120, with the singing of Elohai Nishama and Asher Yetzah. Thank you, Pam. We're going to continue now on page 142, 142. Nope, 141. Page 141 with the Chatzikadosh. If you are able, we invite you to please rise. Yit kadal ve yit kadaha Hashem ve rabah Ve al maha divra girutei Ve am lich malchutei Ve chai yechon ve yom mechon U ve chai yed chol bet Yisrael Magala Vit pa arvit romam vit na sei, vit a dar vit a levit a lal, shemei de kudesha. Le el 
142 Baruch Adonai Kulam bahochma asita, malaha aretz kinyanecha. Tiparach adonai lohenu, al shavach maase yadecha. Be all mitre or sha asita, yefa rucha sala. Or chadash al tzion ta'ir, beniz ke chulanu mehara de ora. Baruchata adonai, yotzer ha meoro. Amen. We'll continue together on page 146. <laughs> Loving Father, merciful Mother of us all, grant clear understanding 
that we may listen, learn, and teach, preserve, practice, and fulfill with love every lesson of your Torah. May learning your Torah light up our eyes. May our hearts embrace your mitzvot, unite us in love and reverence for you, that we may never feel ashamed of our deeds. Shema Israel. Be <laughs> Veshinantam levanecha, vidibarta pam, veshivtecha bavitecha, uvleptecha baderech, ushopecha ukumecha, uksartam le oot al yadecha, vecha yule tota fot bene necha, uktavtam al mezuzot betecha. Uvisharecha, leman tiskeru, the asitem et kol mitzvotai, the hitem kadoshim leohechem. Ani Adonai elohechem, asher hotzeti et hem, me eretz mitzrayim, the hiot lachem lelohim. Ani Adonai Elohechem, Adonai Elohechem, Emmet. In the middle of page 161, the Israelites walked into the Reed Sea, one foot at a time. What they were thinking about as the water rose up their legs, chilling their hearts, advancing towards their open mouths, we continue to walk here. Now, one foot at a time, on our better days, forward. Alone, I cannot reach the far shore without drowning. Somehow, I don't go under. The person to my right holds me up. Something I cannot see holds him up. Blessed is the source of help, so often unexpected. I step forward. The sea is vast. We continue on page 164 with the singing of Micha Mocha. Micha Mocha Boili Madunai, Micha Mocha Nedar Vachmonesh, Norat Elhina, Osefele, Shira.
Again, if you're able, we invite you to please rise as we continue on page 166, 166 with the tefillah. Adonai Hey. 
Please be seated. In the middle of page 173. In our everyday lives, we live with an illusion of control. We guard our health by eating well, exercising, getting regular checkups. We get ahead professionally by working hard and building effective relationships. At the liturgical moment of Unatana Tokath, we are forced to admit how profoundly our lives can be altered by random occurrences over which we have no control. A brain hemorrhage or heart attack can come out of nowhere. A drunk driver can cripple or kill. A parent can have to bury a child. An organization's sudden economic reversals can unexpectedly result in layoffs or firings. A healthy pregnancy can end with a stillbirth. A competent person can be unable to find work. A trusted marriage can collapse. In my heart of hearts, I know that I have as little control as any other sheep in the flock. At the moment of Unatanatokath, I know for certainty that my life hangs in the balance. When these high holy days end, I may be lulled back into my false sense of security, the cocoon of my routine, but today I feel my exposure, sense the danger inherent in life, and re-encounter my mortality. My end is dust. I cannot control the unexpected blows that will affect my family, my job, my health, but I can control how I live with them. Teshuva, cultivating a spiritual life and returning to Torah. Tefillah, cultivating gratitude and connecting with transcendent values. And Tzedakah, cultivating generosity and pursuing justice will mitigate, mitigate the bad in the decree. Teshuva, Tefillah, and Tzedakah will not stop stock market crashes, lung cancer, or other blows that come our way. But they can radically transform how we are affected by those blows. We continue on page 174 with Unatana Tokef. And so let these words of sanctity ascend to you for you are our God and Sovereign. Unetande tokef kedushat hayom ki Thank you. 
Let us proclaim the power of this day, a day whose holiness awakens deepest awe and inspires highest praise for your dominion. For your throne is a throne of love, your reign is a reign of truth. In truth you are judge and plaintiff, counselor and witness, you inscribe and seal, you record and recount, you remember all that, ha that we have forgotten. And when you open the book of memories, it speaks for itself, for every human hand leaves its mark, an imprint like no other. And so a great shofar will cry to Kia, a still small voice will be heard. Angels in a world of fear and trembling will say, Behold the day of judgment, for they too are judged. In your eyes, even they are not blameless. All who come into the world pass before you like sheep before their shepherd, as a shepherd considers the flock when it passes beneath the staff. You count and consider every life. You set bounds, you decide destiny, to inscribe judgment. Rosh Hashanah, it is written on the fast of Yom Kippur, it is sealed. How many will pass away from this world? How many will be born into it? Who will live and who will die? Who will reach the ripeness of age? And who will be taken before their time? Who by fire and who by water? Who by war and who by beast? Who by famine and who by drought? who by earthquake and who by plague, who by strangling and who by stoning, who will rest and who will wander, who will be tranquil and who will be troubled, who will be calm and who tormented, who will live in poverty and who in prosperity, who will be humbled and who exalted. O Teshuvah, O Tefillah, O Tzedakah, Turn to the right path. Through prayer and righteous giving, we can transcend the harshness of the decree. For you are everything that we praise you for. Slow to anger, quick to forgive. You do not wish the death of sinners, but urge them to return from their ways and live. Until the day of death, 
you wait for them. You accept them at once if they return. And since you created us, you know our impulses. We are but flesh and blood. We continue now with the Kedusha on page 184. Please rise. <clears throat> Nekadesh, 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 et shim ba'olam, Nekadesh, et shim ba'olam, Keshem shem abdishim oto bishme Kakato val yad neviecha Vekarasa elze ve'amar Kadosh, kadosh, kadosh Adonai tzevot Melochol ha'aretz Adirenu, Adir, Adirenu, Adonai, Adonai, Adonenu, Ma Adir, Ma Adir, Shim, Ha. Continue now on page 194, 194. Tanu Mikol Ha'amim, Ahavta Tanu Varatsita Banu, Romam Tanu Mikol 
שיקר אותנו מלכנו על דתך ושמך הגדול הקדוש עלינו קראת You chose us with love to be messengers of mitzvot and through us you made known your aspirations. Among all the many peoples you gave us a pathway to holiness. Among all the great nations you uplifted us and made yourself our sovereign. And so we seek you and serve you and celebrate our nearness to your presence. Your great and sacred name has become our calling. Titain lanu Adonai Eloheinu b'yahava et yom hazikaron hazeh yom teruah mikra kodesh sechel letziat mitzrayim In your love eternal our God you have given us this day of remembrance a day for the shofar's joyful sound a day of sacred assembly a day to be mindful of our peoples going out from Egypt Eloheinu v'elohei avoteinu v'imoteinu our God and God of the generations before us May a memory of us ascend and come before you. May it be heard and seen by you, winning your favor and reaching your awareness together with the memory of our ancestors, the memory of your sacred city, Jerusalem, and the memory of your people, the family of Israel. May we be remembered for safety, well-being, and favor, for love and compassion, for life and for peace on this Day of remembrance, Zochrenu Adonai Eloheinu Boletova. Amen. Ufokdenu Volevracha. Amen. Vahoshienu Volechaim. Amen. Eternal our God, remember us. Amen. Be mindful of us. Amen. And redeem us for a life of goodness and blessing. Amen. 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 We're going to continue now on page 208. Our God, who is ours and God of our fathers and mothers, lead us to holiness through your mitzvot, and may each of us find a portion of Torah that is ours. You bestow such goodness. Teach us to be satisfied, and let us know the joy of your salvation. Help us to serve you truly with purity of heart, for you are a faithful God whose truth stands forever. Baruch atah Adonai, melech al kol ha'aretz, mekadesh Yisrael, v'yom hazikaron. Amen. And on 209, we're at say, Adonai Eloheinu, v'yamcha Yisrael, t'filatam b'hava t'kabel. Eternal our God, your people Israel yearns for your favor. Receive their prayer with loving acceptance. And may you always desire your people's worship. Divine one close to all who call upon you. Bring your grace and presence near to those who serve you. Pour forth your spirit on us. And may our eyes see your meaningful, merciful return to Zion. Baruch atah Adonai, hamachazir shechinato letzion. Amen. 210, modim anachnu lach, God who is ours, God of all generations. To you we are grateful forever. Rock and protector of our lives, your saving power endures from age to age. We thank you and tell the tale of your praise, your power in our lives, your caring for our souls, the constant miracle of your kindness. Morning, noon, and night, we call you goodness, for your compassion never ends. We call you mercy, for your love has no limit. We call you hope, now and for all time. For all these gifts, God of majesty, may your name come to be blessed and praised. Our gratitude, a daily offering until the end of time. Inscribe your covenant partners for a life of goodness. And may all life resound with gratitude and faith and praise of your name. God, you free us and strengthen us. Baruch atah Adonai, hatav shimcha haolochana elechotot. Amen. Well, 
again this morning as we prepare to offer the beer cut shalom, the beer cut kohanim, the prayer for peace, the priestly benedictions. We invite everybody to please rise if you're able. We are on page 214, and this is where you get to cuddle up to the people who are next to you and wrap your talit around them if you have, can, do. I can hear it. There we go. Eloheinu v'elohei avotenu v'imotenu barachenu b'vracha ha-mishuleshet ha-ketuva b'atora ha-amura m'pi kohanim am-kidushecha ke-amor. Our God, divine presence, whose path our ancestors walked, bless us now with words first bestowed on Israel in the time of Moses and Aaron, the threefold blessing given us through Torah that joins our hope with theirs. Yivarech echa Adonai ve'yishmerecha May you know God's blessing of shelter and care, may it be so. Yahir Adonai panav elecha v'chunecha so may you receive the light of God's kindness and grace. May it be so. May you see God's favor and goodness. May you partake of God's peace. May it be so. Amen. Please be seated. We are going to continue with Seem Shalom on page 216. Page 216. Pause now for a few moments of silent personal meditation.
Shabbat Shalom, Shalom Aleinu, Be'alko Yisrael, Yase Shalom, Yase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu, Be'alko Yisrael, Ve'imro We are going to continue now on page 222-222 with the Avinu Malkenu. I need some help. Uh, Asher and Ruth. I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't we have a discussion yesterday about not telling the rabbi what to do? Right, we did. Anita and Asher, would you come forward and open up the art? I was thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> We invite everybody, if you're able to, please rise. Oh, I'm right up here. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. It's so good to see all the people this morning. Okay, slide the doors open. Oh, from here. There we go. There's the very thing. Perfect. Thank you. Loving Father, infinite power, gentle, forgiving, lofty, inscrutable, Avinu Malkenu, compassionate mother, omnipotent Lord, comforting presence, fathomless mystery, Avinu Malkenu, a rock and redeemer, life of the universe, close to us always, impossibly far, Avinu Malkenu, embracing, confounding, accepting our frailty, decreeing our end, Avinu Malkenu. None of these are true. None of them are you. And yet we stand as those before us have stood, summoned to judgment, longing for love of Venu Malkenu. May these words be a bridge. They come from our hearts. May they lead us to you. Avinu Malkenu Shma Kolenu. Avinu Malkenu, Almighty and Merciful, hear our voice. Avinu Malkenu, Chatanu Lefanecha. Avinu Malkenu, we have strayed and sinned before you. Avinu Malkenu, Chamol Aleinu, Be'al Olaleinu, V'tapenu. Avinu Malkenu, have compassion on us and our families. Avinu Malkenu, Kale Dever, Vechere, Vera'av, Me'alenu, Avinu Malkenu, halt the onslaught of sickness, violence, and hunger. Avinu Malkenu, Kale Koltsaru, Mastin, Me'alenu. Avinu Malkenu, halt the reign of those who cause pain and terror. Avinu Malkenu, Kot Venu, Besefer Chaim Tovim. Avinu Malkenu, enter our names in the book of lives well lived. Avinu Malkenu, Chadesh Alenu, Shana Tova. Avinu Malkenu, renew for us a year of goodness. Avinu Malkenu, Chonenu Va'anenu, Ki ein banu ma'asim. Ase imanu tzedaka, v'chesed, v'choshienu. Avinu Malkenu, almighty and merciful, answer us with grace, for our deeds are wanting. Save us through acts of justice and love. Avinu Malkenu, Honenu Valenu, Avinu Malkenu, Honenu Valenu, Ki en Baru Masi, Hase. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
Said our Kriyata Torah, the service for the reading of Torah for this Rosh Hashanah morning begins on page 227, page 227. <laughs>
So there's a lot of different traditions as to what is read first day of Rosh Hashanah and second day of Rosh Hashanah. As I was referring to earlier, in the Reformed tradition, because we only did one day of Rosh Hashanah traditionally, it was determined that the most significant reading of all of the possibilities for Rosh Hashanah was the Akedah, the binding of Isaac. And so that became the tradition, traditional reading for the day of Rosh Hashanah, which for congregations that do two, two days now became the first day of Rosh Hashanah. Anybody know what we read and is, what is read in traditional congregations on the first day of Rosh Hashanah? Because in fact, the Akedah is read on the second day in traditional congregations. Sorry? The birth of Isaac. Um, yes, very close. It's actually the story that comes right before the Akedah, which is about Hagar, when Sarah could not apparently conceive well into old age, she gave her maidservant, who was named Hagar, to Abraham as a surrogate, and he bore a son named Ishmael, who really is Abraham's firstborn son with all the rights of birthright and inheritance in biblical tradition. But Sarah became jealous after Ishmael was born and insisted that Abraham get rid of Hagar and Ishmael. And Abraham wasn't comfortable with this idea. This is my son and his mother. How can I just get rid of them? So Abraham goes to God and says, what should I do? And God said, listen to your wife. <laughs> so Abraham takes Hagar and Ishmael out, out into the desert and effectively abandons them there. He really was willing to sacrifice both of his sons one way or another. 
But when he goes to God and sa again, God says, don't worry about it. Just like he said when they were going up Moriah, Abraham said, God will see to it. God says to Abraham, I'll see to it. Don't worry. I'll take care of them. And through them, you will become a great nation as well. So now Abraham knows he's going to become the progenitor of a great nation. Miraculously, Isaac is then born to Sarah, and he becomes the protagonist of the Akedah story. Some traditions say, really, the Hagar and Ishmael story is the more important story, and the only reason that the Akedah was read on the second day was because the Torah was already rolled to that position in the scroll. But we're not going to read Hagar today. We're not going to flip them around. We're going to follow the, another tradition. Yom Rosh Hashanah has four different names. Rosh Hashanah, the head of the year. Two other names that we've heard in our liturgy this morning. Yom Truah, the day of the sounding of the shofar. And Yom Hadin, the day of judgment. Yom HaZikaron, the day of remembrance. What are we up to now? Four? So there's a fifth one. Yom Harat Olam, which literally means the birthday of the world. Because in fact, this day is really not the new year. This is the first day of the seventh month in the Hebrew calendar. The first month is Nisan, which before it was called Nisan was called Aviv, which means spring. And that's the month that has Pesach in it. That's the beginning in a cyclical ritual system of the Jewish year. So if that's the first day of the first month, then what's today? The first day of the seventh month. So this really isn't the new year and a sort of flipping the page on your calendar sense. But this is in fact the birthday of the world, the anniversary of creation. Think about it. In your own life, you don't turn a year older on January 1st. You turn a year older on your birthday. So today in the Biblical Jewish accounting. Today is the 5,783rd birthday of the world. That's what we're celebrating today. So what do you like to do on birthdays? You have birthday cake, you have a party, everybody sings happy birthday to you. And sometimes, maybe your mom or your bubby or somebody will bring out the shoebox with all the old baby pictures in them. And you look at what you look like when you were first born. And then effectively in our Torah reading today, that's what we're going to do. We're going to read from the beginning of the book of Bereshit, the beginning of the book of Genesis. And we're going to read all about the story of creation in celebration of this birthday of the world. And as you probably know, the story of the six days of creation six days that God created, and then the seventh day, which is when God rested, the first Sabbath. Each of the days, something different was created. And this process of creation evolved through acts of separation. In the beginning, God said, let there be light. And God separated between light and darkness. God separated between land and sea and sky. God separated between day and night. God separated between all the different species leading up to the sixth day. When God creates Adam, humankind, Zachar Nikiva, male and female, God created it. What? Wasn't there like Adam, the guy first, and then God creates 
Eve, the woman from Adam's rib? Well, that's the story that's actually in chapter 2. In chapter 1, we're told that God created humankind together. And at first, we're told that God breathed life into this being. Nefesh chaya, the breath of life. And the commentators teach us that nefesh chaya is the animating factor that, that brings us into life as human beings. God breathed life into it. But Rabbi David Kimchi, known as the Radak, a medieval commentator, he says, you know, there's a difference between the nefesh chaya, which is what gives us life, and the nefesh, or the neshama, which we translate as soul. The nefesh chaya makes us a living human being. The nefesh, or the neshama, is what connects us to our Creator. It's what connects us to our God. And so there is a difference. The rabbis, the ancient sages, were very sort of, uh, felt very challenged by the fact that we have these two versions, these two different, seemingly contradictory stories of the creation of humankind. They said, what was it? Did God create male and female together? Did God create them separately? They came up with all kinds of different answers. But in the end, looking back at all of those other stages of creation, they said, "Aha! Uh -huh. God creates through acts of separation. So in the beginning, humankind was created as one unified being, containing the gender characteristics of all. But later on, God then separates them. And in the Hebrew, it doesn't say anything about Adam's rib. It says Adam was divided, separated into two different genders. And when the Talmud is explaining this to us, there's a little bit of a postscript, which I really like. After the the teacher explains this to a student. The teacher, one of the students, puts up their hand and says, I got a question. What happened next? What happened after God separated the genders? And the teacher answered, We spend the rest of our lives looking for our true other. Because if we were created as one and then separated, that means it's not two beings, it's two halves, two halves. And that we can only ever feel whole and complete again when we find our true other half, when we become complete and when we become whole. This is the idea where it says, in the story that it's not good to be alone because being alone means we're incomplete. And what's the Hebrew word for wholeness or completion? It's shlemut. It's shalom. We can only ever be at peace when we find our true other half. And that becomes part of life's journey, seeking out our other half so we can feel whole again and at peace and I think we can extrapolate that into a sort of global perspective because we're talking about human beings. It is that challenge for us all, whether we're talking about ourselves as individuals or a community or the whole human community of the world, that we need to find a way to feel complete. We need to feel whole. And it's only at that point can we feel at peace again. So as we are celebrating this birthday of the world, let's celebrate in a way that allows us individually and communally, globally, to try and feel at peace once again. If you'd like to follow in your Mahsur, the readings can be found on page 330. And we have some wonderful people who are going to 
chanting Torah from us, including a couple of our young people, and we are very much looking forward to that. Page 330. Oh. Yeah, Nala Amol Ebrachat Torah, we call to the first Aliyah on this Rosh Hashanah morning, Enid Aaron. Baruch at Adonai Hambarach. Baruch Adonai Hambarach le'olam va'ed. Baruch Adonai Hambarach le'olam va'ed. Baruch at Adonai Eloheinu melech olam. Asher b'har banu mikol hamim. Benetan lanu et torato. Baruch at Adonai noten ha'torah. Amen. Amen. Bereshit bara Elohim et hashamayim ba'et ha'aretz ba'aretz hayata tohu vavohu vahoshav el paneta home varuach Elohim merhefet el paneha mayim vayomer Elohim gehi or vayi or Vayar Elohim et ha'or ki tov. Vayavdel Elohim bein ha'or uvein ha'hoshef. Vayikra Elohim le'or yom. Vayahoshef karalayla vayayi ere vayi boker yom echad. Vayomer Elohim yahirakia batoach ha'mayim Vahim avdil b'mayim l'mayim Vayas Elohim et harakia vayavdel B'ein ha'mayim asher mitahat l'arakia Uvein ha'mayim asher me'al l'arakia v'chihein Vaikra Elohim, Lurakia Shamaim, Vair Vahi Boker, Yom Shani. Baruch Atad Anoi, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Asher Natan Lanu Torat Emet, Vahaye Olam Etabet Oheinu, Baruch Atad Anoi, Notein HaTorah. Amen. We're going to do a mishpah for everybody at the end. Yeah. We call to the next Aliyah uh, for this Rosh Hashanah morning, Cantor Paula Baruch. Baruch et Adonai HaMevorach. Baruch Adonai HaMevorach Le'olam Va'ed. Baruch Adonai HaMevorach Le'olam Va'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Ha'amim. Benatan Lanu Et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. Vayomer Elohim, Yikave Hamayim, Mitahat Hashamayim, El Makom Echad, Betera E Haibasha Vayihain. Vayikra Elohim, Layabasha Eretz, Ulmikve Hamayim. Karayamim, Viar Elohim Kito, Vayomer Elohim, Tadsheha Aretz, Deshe, Esev Mazri Hazara, Et Peri, Ase Peri Lemino, Asher Zaravo, Al Haaretz Fahihain. Vitod se haaretz deshe, esev mazriya zara lemineu, ve'etz 
ועץ. עושה פרי אשר זרה בו למינהו. וירא אלוהים כי טוב, ויהי ערב בוקר יום שלישי. ויאמר אלוהים, יהיה מאורות ברקיע השמיים, להבדיל בין יום ובין לילה הלילה, וחיו לאותות. למועדים ולימים ושנים וחיו המערות ברקיע השמיים להאיר על הארץ ויהי כן ויעש אלוהים את שיני המערות הגדולים את המאור הגדול לממשלת היום ואת המאור הקטן לממשלת הלילה ואת הכוכבים וייתן אותו. ויתן אותם אלוהים ברקיע השמיים לה... עיר על הארץ ולמשול ביום ובלילה והבדיל בין אור ובין החושך ויר אלוקים כי טוב ויהי ערב ויהי בוקר יום רביעי ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת וחיי עולם נטע בתוכנו ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. אמן. יש כוח נא לעמוד לברך על תורה. We call to our next עליה בן סטון. Oh, there he is. I knew I saw him somewhere. <laughs> ברוך את אדוני המבורך, ברוך אדוני המבורך לעולם ועד, ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם, ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר בחר בנו מכל העמים ונתן לנו את תורתו, ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. אמן. ויאמר אלוהים, ויאמר אלוהים, נשרצו המים, שרת נפש היה, ואופי אופך על הארץ, על פני רקיע השמיים. ויברא אלוהים את התנינים הגדולים ואת כל נפש החיה הרומסת אשר שרצו המים למיניהם ואת כל עוף כנף למינהו ויר אלוהים כי טוב ויברך אותם אלוהים לאמור ברו אורבו ומילאו את המים בימים והעוף ירב בארץ ויהי ערב ויהי בוקר יום המשיחי ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת, וחי עולם נתן בתוכנו. ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה. אמן, יש כוח. אקסלנט, אקסלנט. רבי כהן לברך את זה לקרוע את התורה 
We call to read the Torah on Desalia, Rabbi Cohen. Baruch Hu Baruch Adonai HaMvorach Baruch Adonai HaMvorach Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Ha'amim V'natan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen V'yomer Elohim Totse Ha'aretz Nefesh Chaya Lamina Vahimavaremesvahayatoyatslimina. <laughs> Elohim <laughs> Hayam, <laughs> Asher natan lanu torat emet v'chaye olam nata betochenu baruch atarunai noten haTorah. Amen. And for our final aliyah on this Rosh Hashanah morning, na la amod levarechet haTorah, we call to the next aliyah, Jeremy. Berman Bildfeld, Bildfeld, yeah. Berman, Berman Bildfeld. Jeremy Beebe. That's what's written down here. Baruch Adonai Hamborach. Baruch Adonai Hamborach. Baruch Adonai Hamborach. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Lerlam Ba'ed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Ha'amim V'natan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen V'echelu Hashemayim V'ha'aretz V'chod Tzava'am V'echa Elohim, Bayom Hashvi, Melachto, Asherasa, Vaishbot, Bayom Hashvi, Miko Melachto, Asherasa, Vaivarech Elohim, Et Yom Hashvi, Vaikadesh Oto, Ki, Vo, Shabbat, Miko Melachto, Asher Barach Elohim, La Sot. Yashar Koach, well done. Blessing after. Baruch Ata Adonai, Elohim, Melech Olam, Asher Natan Lanu, Torat Emet, Vachaye Olam, Nata Betochenu, Baruch Ata Adonai, Noten HaTorah. Amen.
Mishabeach of the of Ham Yitzhak Vial Kofi Motenu Sarah Rifkal Rifka Sarah Rifka Rachal Vileav Fiyavarach had called Ba'alat Torah. May the Holy One of Blessing, who has blessed our ancestors Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless everyone who has been called to the Torah on this Rosh Hashanah morning in honor of the Holy One, in honor of the Torah, and in honor of this New Year's Day. May God bless all of you and all of your dear ones with an abundance of health, of happiness, of prosperity, and peace. And may the Torah always inspire you throughout your life. And we say together. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I need somebody to dress. Anna, would you come and help us dress the Torah, please? We're going to continue now on page 246 in our prayer books. We ask the congregation to please rise. Okay, this is going to be a quick one. Would you come and hold the Torah? Please be seated. We're going to continue now with the Haftarah, and it is our pleasure to invite our Director of Religious Education, Dora Ann Cohen Ellison, to lead us in the chanting of the Haftarah. Your turn, Jeremiah. Um, page 332. 332. Uh, yes, maybe. Uh, Isaiah. 338. All right. We're going to find the Haftarah on page 338. 338, coming from the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah, there were actually multiple Isaiahs. There was sort of like a school of Isaiah. And what's interesting, especially when you look at 1st Isaiah, what's referred to often as Deutero-Isaiah or 2nd Isaiah, is that the message changes very much because the circumstances changed. 1st Isaiah was preaching and prophesying in the land of Israel and was basically telling everybody clean up your act or bad things are going to happen. And the people didn't listen to him, and bad things happened. 
first temple was destroyed, people went into exile in Babylon. And second Isaiah was amongst those who went into exile. And so when he started prophesying, he wasn't even prophesying in the land of Israel, he was prophesying in exile. And that's why his message changed. There's no point in saying anymore, clean up your act or bad things are going to happen. Bad things already happened. But his message now was a message about return. It was a message about teshuva. And basically the message was, you've still got the opportunity. The door is still open. Clean up your act now and God will welcome you back in love. So again, from the prophet Isaiah chapter 55, beginning on page 338, 338. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Mahalach haolam Asher bachar ben be'in tovim V'ratzav adivrayhem hana'amarim ba'amet Baruch atah Adonai Avocher b'torah uv Moshe avtoho uv Yisrael amoho uv Mvie haemet vatzedek dir Shu Adonai b'chimatzo keruhu vichioto karov yatzov rasha darcho. Vaish aven machshavotev Vayashov aladonai Virachamehu Vael Eloheinu Ki yarbeli sloach Ki loho machshavotai Machshavotechem Velo darchechem Darachai Naum Adonai Ki gavhu shamahim e aretz Kain gavhu darachai Midarchechem Umachshavotai Mimachshavotechem Ki Kaasher Yared Hageshem Bahashaleg Min Hashamahim Vashamalo Yashuv Ki Im Hirva Eta Aretz Vaholi Daha Vahits Miha Vanatan Vera La Zorea Valechem La Ochel Cain Yehe de Vari Asher Yetze me pee Lo Yashuv Elai Rekaham Ki Imasaha Et Asher Hafatti Vahits Leach Asher Shalachtiv Kivasim Hate Seu Ushalom Tuvalun Hecharim Vahagva Oat Yitzahu Lifne Hem Rinaha Vahol Atsi Hasade Yim Hau Hav Tahat Hana Atsuts Ya Aleva Rosh Batahat Hatsir Pad Ya Aleha Das Bahaya La Donai La Shame La Oto Lam Lo Yikare 
Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Zur Kol HaOlamin, Tzadik Bacho HaDorot, HaEl HaNeeman, HaOmer VeYoseh, HaMedaber UmKayim, Shechol DeBarah VeMet VaTzedek, Al HaTorah VeAl HaVodah, VeAl HaNviim VeAl Yom HaZikaron HaZeh, Shenatata Vanu Adonai Eloheinu Lechavod Ultifaret Al Hakol Adonai Eloheinu Anachnu Modim Lach Umvarchim Otach Yitbarach Shimcha Bafiklo Chai Tamid Leolam Vaed Udvarcha Emet Vakayam Lead Baruch Ata Adonai Melech HaKol HaAretz Mekadesh Yisrael Vayom HaZikaron Amen Yishakash My friends, we're going to continue now on page 276, 276 Returning the Torah to the Ark uh, Elisa Carlos, would you come and open the Ark? We ask everybody to please rise. Am I ready? Yes. Okay. Friends, we're going to continue now with the... We have a little show for live coming, too. You have a little show yeah. for... Yes, we do. 
the Ellison Cohen Center chauffeur. Oh. Yes. Okay, I can use all the help I can get. Yes. James, you want to bring your chauffeur bring up Bring that up. Anyone else have a just, chauffeur? I'm just glad to see you. Hmm? <laughs> Fish. Sorry. What are we doing here? You just have two seconds. Just pick one. Oh, you want to take one? Okay. I was going to say come stand behind between us, but then nobody will be able to see yeah, you. So yeah, come stand over right. here. Yeah. All right. Thank you, James. Okay. Stand by. Let me do the short ones first, and then we'll do the big one together. Does that sound like a good, good arrangement? Okay. We're going to continue now on page 280. Goodness of the world. Today we stand before the shofar to hear its voice, the broken notes of our history, the unbroken quest from Moriah and Sinai to the end of days. At Sinai, our people accepted their calling on, on the, the third, third day, day as morning dawned. There, there was thunder and lightning, a dense cloud upon the mountain, and a very loud blast of the horn. The sound of the shofar grew louder and louder as Moses spoke. God answered, God answered in, in thunder. thunder. Fest of music and solemn declaration, the shofar gave voice to the spirit of Israel. Sound, Sound the shofar on our feast day, day on the new moon when it is hidden, for this is Israel's law, a decree, a decree of the of God, God of Jacob. Jacob. It enlivened our worship with power and joy. Praise God, God with, with the shofar call. call. Praise, Praise God, God with harp and lyre. Sounding the alarm in ancient days, it gathered our people for battle. The Spirit, Spirit of God, God enveloped Gideon. He sounded the shofar, and the people rallied behind him. The shofar called us to judgment and repentance. Sound a ram's horn in Zion, sanctify a fast, proclaim a solemn assembly, gather the people. Turn back to me with all your heart, with fasting, weeping, and lamenting. It proclaimed the coming of God's dominion. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, raise a shout before our sovereign God. For God will rule the earth justly and its peoples with equity. Summoned to battle in justice, we heard the rebuke of our prophets. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up your voice like a shofar. Goodness of the world, to Voshal Olam, today we stand before the shofar to hear its voice of hope, resilient and strong proclaiming freedom, promising redemption. In days to come, a great shofar will be sounded. Those lost in the land of Assyria and those cast away in the land of Egypt shall come back and worship Adonai on the holy mountain in Jerusalem. To speak out and never grow weary, to hold fast to the message of Sinai, to believe in a time when all life shall be cherished, to work for that day and to know it will come. The blast of the horn sustains us in faith my God, Adonai, shall blow the shofar and advance in a stormy tempest. A mighty call that never stops, the shofar resounds forever. All you who live in the world and inhabit the earth, when a flag is raised in the hills, take note. When a shofar is blown, give heed. On the top of page 284, let's join together in the bracha for the hearing the sound of the shofar. Baruch Adonai, Shomei Akol, Teruah Tamaho Yisrael, Berach HaMim. Shvarim Teruah, Tekiah, Tekiah, Shvarim, Tekiah, Tekiah, Teruah. Ready, pick one. Tekiah Gidola. Well, 
done. You should go. Oh, Rashad, well done, Jay. Rashad, sefatenu yirav lefanecha. Hey, hey, when all I'm gonna saw. Rashad, sefatenu yirav lefanecha. Hey, hey, when all I'm gonna saw. We're going to conclude our service on this Rosh Hashanah morning now on page 286, page 286. Uh, Diana Bell, would you please come and open the ark? And again, we ask everybody else to please rise. La take du la liotse bereshit Shelo asanu kegoye aratso Velo samanu kamish pachota adama Shelo sam chelkenu kahel Begor aleinu kechol hamonam Ba'anachnu korarim O mishtachavim o motim Lifne melech malche hamlachim Hakadosh baruch hu Venemar vehaya adonai Lamelech al kol haaretz Vayom hahu Bayom ha-hu, iyei Adonai echad. Ushemo, ushemo, ushemo. Our thoughts turn now to loved ones whom death has taken from us in recent days, and those who died of this season in years past, our hearts open as well to the wider circles of loss in our community and wherever grief touches the human family. At this time, we remember Mark Nagler, who passed away during the last month during Shloshim, and those whose yard site occurred during this week, Ann Silverman, Ann Goldberg, Ann Shub, Bert Rosnick, Blanche Latner, Carrie Schwartz, Doreen Levitt, Nicholas Sole, Irving Dahlberg, Jackie McKeary, Joan Henshaw, Lawrence Rotman, Linda Bromstein, Morris Wiseman, Salka Bernstein, and Samuel Bernstein. Sikronam Levracha, may the memories of the righteous be for all of us as an abiding blessing. As we remember and praise God, the words of the Kaddish Tom, the mourner's Kaddish, which can be found on page 292. Page 292. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shamei rabba v'yama divrach yirute v'yamlich malchute v'chayachon v'yomechon v'chayei d'chol beit Yisrael v'agala v'yizman kari v'imru amem v'yehe shmei rabba m'varach le'olam o'me o'maya v'yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitramam v'yitnaseh V'yitadar v'yitale v'yitalal sh'mei d'kudisha b'rechu V'eila m'yiko b'yachata v'shirata Tush b'chata v'nechamata D'amiran v'yoma v'imru amem Yehei shlom arabah min sh'maya V'chaim aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael v'imru amem Ose shalom b'mromav Hu yase shalom aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael v'imru amem May the source of peace send peace to all those who mourn and comfort to all those who are bereaved among us. And we say together, Amen. Amen. Please be seated, and I'd like to now invite our president, Marla Frank Davis, to share with us a few short announcements.
Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Please join us immediately following the end of this service for a festive Kiddush luncheon in the Mandel Auditorium. All are welcome. Our annual memorial service at the Temple Entry Shalom Cemetery on Lime Ridge Road will be held this Sunday, October 2nd at 2 p.m. Please join us to honor and remember family and friends. This year we will also be doing a burial of Seferim and Klei Kodesh, so if you have any old Hebrew books, talitot, or other Jewish ritual items to be properly disposed of, bring them with you. Thank you to all those who participated in this morning's service and to our ushers and board greeters. Thank you to the Deborah Sisterhood for providing the beam of flowers. And thank you to our accompanist, accompanist Jordan Abraham, for the beautiful music. Thank you especially to Rabbi Cohen, Cantor Baruch, and Director of Religious Education, Dora Ann Ellison Cohen. And to all the staff for their hard work to prepare these wonderful High Holiday services and activities for our community. Your efforts are all greatly appreciated. We wish you all a Shana Tova, Umatuka, Umatuka, a sweet and happy new year. Thank you, Marla. Of course, we also want to extend our thanks to <coughs> Shelby Frank Davis and Joe Paval, who are back there getting the Kiddush luncheon ready for us. Thank you to both of you for all of your hard work in preparing for these high holy days. Also want to thank Alan Wedham, who's been handling our streaming equipment this morning uh, up, up on high. And uh, our uh, Zoom host, we wish thank you as well for all of your efforts. I believe Paula Jones is helping today with our Kiddush oh, luncheon lovely. as well. And I Paula was... is a new member of our staff, who's of our custodial team, and we're really thrilled to have her with us, and she's here this morning as well. And also to thank Pam Sisi and to thank Diane Sandler for adding their voices to our service today. Absolutely. Lovely morning. So we're going to do Kiddush and Motsi and Priha 8, Apples. And then we're going to ask everybody to please join us straight back in the Mandel Auditorium so we can share lunch together. Please rise for the Kiddush. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Peri HaKofen Amen Thank you to Rhonda Dahan for always baking us beautiful challah, beautiful. especially at this time of the year when they're round and sweet. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Hamotzi Lechem Min HaAretz Amen Oh wait, there's one more blessing. <laughs> Good. Just noodle a bit. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Peri HaEtz Amen Pate Avon, enjoy lunch together in Shana Tova, everyone. Lishana Tova Tikate Shana Tova, everyone. Thank you for joining us online. And there was lunch. <laughs> and it was good. That was good.